Now for the Big Mama Developmental Milestones, also called Stages of Development. These are a list of skills that most children can do by a certain age, including physical motor skills, language, as well as social cognitive skills. Now it's not just another list to memorize here. This is actually very crucial for a child's future. So let me explain. If a child does not meet their key developmental milestones for their age, it can indicate a delay in development and could result in severe disablement, if not caught early and addressed early. This is why it's so very important for you, the nurse, to identify children who do not meet these developmental milestones and to report it to the HCP immediately. So that being said, I know there's a lot here, but I'm going to highlight some very critical areas that the NCLEX focuses on, and it's usually between two months and the two-year mark. So first on the list here is age one month. The gross motor skill is head lag. They have very poor head control. And the fine motor skills that they're developing is the grasp reflex, zero to three months, the Babinski reflex, zero to 12 months, the rooting reflex, zero to four months, and the tonic neck reflex, zero to four months, which we cover more in full detail in the physical exam lecture. Now, language that they're learning is responding to touch and voices, as well as sensory motor communication. And as far as social cognitive, they often find safety with caregivers and looks at the faces of their caregivers. Now, age two to three months, a huge NCLEX tip to write down is the gross motor skill of kicking their legs. So the memory trick to write down is two legs are being kicked at two months of age and raising their head when prone as well as less head lag. Now the fine motor skill is the grasp reflex often diminishes between this age. And the language that they're developing is responding to sound as well as they're able to make sounds with their mouth. And for social cognitive, they always show smiles and coos when seeing a familiar face. Big NCLEX tip. So the memory trick, smiles at the second month. Now for four to five months old, the gross motor skill that is to be seen is no more head lag. So we always report if head lag is seen after four months. Huge NCLEX tip, be sure to write that down. So the memory trick, just think after month four, head lag no more. Now the NCLEX and most nursing exams refer to this as infant's head stays behind the shoulders when raised from supine to sitting position. This is what they mean by head lag. So once again, infant's head stays behind the shoulders when raised from supine to sitting position. So be sure to know these key terms here. And another gross motor skill is at five months, they can roll from front to back, as mentioned by Kaplan and ATI. Now for the fine motor skills, a big one on the HESI was grabbing objects voluntarily. For example, this age group grabs a rattle. Now we also see the diminishing of the moral reflex, also called the startle reflex, as well as other reflexes. And for language, they often mimic sounds that are heard, and they're able to change their cry tone for different needs. Now for social cognitive, they're often soothed by caregivers' voices, and copies the expression of caregivers and other people they're around. And they often cry when they don't get their way. So moving on to six to nine months, a big thing to write down is birth weight doubles at six months. Huge NCLEX tip. I'll say it like five times for you guys. Birth weight doubles at six months. Okay, maybe only two times. So be sure to write that down. Also six to nine months, they can roll from their back to front and can sit up unsupported and can pull self up. So a real big safety concern is removing musical mobiles from the crib because these infants can pull themselves up and strangle themselves with those musical mobile strings. Now for fine motor skills, six months old can hold a big bottle. And at seven months, they can transfer objects from one hand to the other. And for language, a really big one here is they can babble words or babbling words as mentioned by ATI. For example, mama and dada. And this age group can often respond to their own name. Now a big one again to write down is not babbling at nine months, 
we must report it. Huge, huge, huge. So be sure to write that down. If the child is not babbling at nine months, we must report it to the provider. And for cognitive and social skills, they can identify faces and strangers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.